Once upon a time, there was a man and his wife who were very unhappy because they had no children. These good people had a window at the back of their house, and they would look out the window to a beautiful, beautiful garden. This garden held beautiful flowers and herbs and and fruits. Now they couldn't get to this garden because there was a there was a huge wall that surrounded it. This garden also belonged to a witch who would put spells on you if she caught you. The wife would stand at the window and look at the, at all the herbs, and one herb caught her eye. It was called rampion. She liked this because it looked so it looked so perfectly green. She could envision herself、uh, making a nice, beautiful salad for dinner for her and her husband. So out of this desire came sickness. She stared at the window so long that she became sick. She didn't eat too much because she desired the the herb so much. One day, her husband asked,、well, "What's wrong, my darling?" She said, "I desire." That rampion so much to make a a salad for you and I, he said. Well, I shall go get it. So that evening he jumped down out of the window, jumped over, climbed over the wall, and got lots of rampion. He put it back, and his wife made a beautiful salad, beautiful and tasty as ever. A salad they ate for dinner for three nights. So the following day, after the salad had finished, she wanted some more, and so she asked her husband to go back over the wall to get some. So he he agreed, and he、uh, he jumped out of his window and climbed over the wall again. But this time he encountered the witch. Aha! So you dare take my my rampion? The witch exclaimed. Now. In in repayment for this rampion, which you may take again, because as as you said, your wife is your wife is ill if she doesn't have it. You must bring me your firstborn child. Firstborn child, he exclaimed. But we haven't had a child yet. She said, "Oh, you will, you will." So he went back to his wife with the rampion. And a couple nine months later, they had a child. At that very moment, the witch appeared in their home, and said, "May I have my child now?" And the wife said, "What? My child?" And the husband looked at her sadly, picked up the child, and the witch said, "Hello, Rapunzel. You're so beautiful." Rapunzel, the wife said. She said, "Yes, that's the name of the, of the." Herbs that you use to make your salad, and that your husband take, took from my garden. So now your child is mine. And whoosh, they disappeared. So now the witch kept their daughter in a tower in the middle of the woods.、And、this tower had no doors nor stairs. As a child, as a child grew up, her hair grew longer and longer, and she grew more beautiful every day. So to see the to see the child, the witch would go to to the window, and say, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair." At that moment, Rapunzel would drop down almost fifty feet of hair, and the witch would climb up to the window, climb up the tower. So one day, a prince was walking by the tower, and he'd hear, and he heard singing. And he stopped listening to this beautiful singing. So the next day, he was going by again, and he wanted to find out who who the voice belonged to. the The previous day, he had seen the witch saying, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair." So at this time, he said the same thing, "Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair." And down came the fifty feet of hair, which he climbed up, and then he met Rapunzel. And they fell in love. So the next day, after after the prince had left, he came back and was so in love with Rapunzel that he decided that he wanted to marry her. So he proposed to her, and 
she thought that she had a better life with him, so she said, of course, I'll marry you. But how will I get down from the tower? The prince said, well, I will bring you a foot of, a foot of silk every day. And you'll make a ladder within a week's time. You can, you can, you'll climb down your ladder, get on my horse, and I'll take you to my kingdom. Rapunzel said, that's a great idea. So each day he visited her, he'd bring her, he'd bring her a foot of silk. And by the end of the week, she had, she had a ladder. But before the week was over, the witch had climbed up one day and, and and Rapunzel had made a mistake and said, Why does it seem like you're so much heavier than, than the prince is? The prince, the witch exclaimed. What prince? I've tried to protect you from the world all of your life. And Rapunzel began crying. The witch said, Just for this, I will ban you even further away from people. So the witch sent Rapunzel to a desert where she'd be lonely forever. At the end of the week, the prince came by. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. And the witch had cut, and cut off all of Rapunzel's hair in her anger. And she stayed up there. No, she stayed in the tower to trick the prince. She let down the golden hair and the prince climbed up. Now the prince wasn't expecting the witch, so he gasped at her ugly face. The witch cried, So you're the man who is trying to take my Rapunzel away from me. And he said, Yes, ma'am. Are you her mother? He, she said, No. But I have a surprise for you. And, he, and she pushed him out the window. He fell from the window. And he fell from the window into vines, which poked his eyes out and left him blind. He he stood up and cried and cried, uh, wishing for his Rapunzel to to be somewhere near. As he walked through the woods, he eventually found the desert where Rapunzel was. When Rapunzel when Rapunzel saw him, she dropped to her knees and began to cry, and so did he. As her tears fell, one of them touched his hand and he touched his eyes, and at that moment he was able to see again. And he took her to his kingdom and they married and were happily ever after.